Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, here the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 36 of Let's 100% Resident Evil 4. Alright, let's go ahead and save, and we'll move on to chapter 3. How long have we been playing? 1 hour, 9 minutes, pretty good. Okay, it says chapter 3, and we press X. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry. But following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. <laughs> Bit of advice. Try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! Luis has succeeded in recovering the sample. He's waiting in the castle. Get in contact with him ASAP. Understood. And that U.S. government lapdog, Leon. If you do happen to encounter him, put him out of commission. We can't let him interfere with our plans. He has no idea what's going on. He's nothing we need to worry about. He's a survivor of Raccoon City. We can do without the extra distraction. Take him out. Leon. All right, here we go. Retrieve the sample, Chap chapter three. Okay, we're going to start in the hedge maze. This chapter is very short as you can see, we just basically have to get there and we're done. Okay, let's start by talking to the merchant. Welcome. Got some new things. Uh, Alright, let's buy this, get the attache case large. Uh, we have access to a new weapon known as the bow gun. Unfortunately, it's too expensive for us right now. Still need like 50,000 monies to get it. Uh, so let's have a look at what we can sell. Spinal can go and the beer stein can go. Alright, so that's pretty good to start off with. Let's get out of here and let's grab the TMP. And we're also going to pick up these arrows, bow gun bolts they're called and they're for the, the bow gun. Alright, let's wait for this to happen. Uh, I'm try and really quickly. Oops. Ow. <laughs> this is bad. I was going by the scythe there as well. Okay, not too many en enemies here in the hedge maze. I just have to. Come on. Uh. Run. Oh, wow, that guy almost hit me. Good. I think he can see me, but I'm <laughs> trying to avoid him. Okay, here we go. Now I'll just take him out and we should be good. Pow. Okay. Done. Now let's try and get everything in the hedge maze. So, what's here? Start off with a few TMP bolts, or bullets I should say. Oh god. Dangerous. Okay, good. Switch to this. I hate when it does that little jump. Like, it always does a little jump and it's really annoying because it just closes the distance between you and it very quickly. Okay, now because there's a chance I could die here, uh, I'll hold off. So here, here, how oh, good he's facing the other way. <laughs> come on, come on. How oh, good he jumped the other way. <laughs> 
So it seems like he always jumps forward. Alright, we've got quite a few enemies. What happened there? <laughs> so they're going to try and find us, and they're probably going to do a very good job of it. Here's where the, uh, the hounds used to be. Can't see. Oh god. Yep, yeah, that fan kick. Fan kick, for the sake. Yeah, lost. Oh, I only shot once. I thought I distinctly heard the bullet twice. And, and there again. Come on, just drop. Alright, here we go. Now, one cool thing is this area is mostly exactly the same as in the main game. So the yellow herb that exists is here as well. So let's go get that. That was not good, but that's okay. Grab it. Grab it. In a way it was good because now we have an excuse to use our stuff. Put it there, put it there, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's go around here. Do this one. Nice. Oh, that was interesting. Hang on, so I managed to hit him with the fire because he went to attack me and I shot him. I've learnt that much. Then the sound effect happened twice. Sound effect happened twice. Interesting. Uh, do I go up? Let me go up real quick. So we've got a gold bangle with pearls. I'm actually going to go back down. So I kind of want to follow this path. Go around here. Pow, pow, pow. Bet you it'll be this stupid, yep. <laughs> oh, I like. There we go. Grab this. Lots and lots and lots of ammo. Jump. Okay, so let's have a look at here. Nothing. Take this guy out. Yeah, we'll take him out with this. Yeah. Nice. Alright, I'll collect if, if he drops anything, I'll collect it on the way back. There's an incendiary grenade here, and I don't think there's a treasure. Yep, up there like there is in the main game. He dropped some money. And I'm out of bullets, so I'm probably going to change in a second here. Ooh, red herb. Very good, very good. Now all I have to do is go over here. Stay away from this guy. Uh, let's use the shotgun since my TMP is not reloaded. And reload that TMP. Alright. Out of the hedge maze before 10 minutes, that's pretty good. <laughs> not that I did that extensive level of, you know, checking <laughs> to see if that's a good time or not. I just assume it's good. Okay, now that we're in here, we can get a pretty well hidden treasure actually. Even when I knew where it was, I was like, where is it? <laughs> like I looked on the map, I'm like, I can't see it. And then eventually I looked around the bed and I was like, ah, okay, there it is. Yeah, so very weird, but it's hidden there. Uh, we've got some more bowgun bolts in here. Definitely want to collect those. Pretty much like collect, uh, especially the bowgun bolts, like collect all that stuff. Pretty much everything I'm collecting, just collect. It'll make it so much easier at the end. Because we're going to use that towards the end. The bowgun is the equivalent of the... Uh, that's not what I meant to do, but whatever. Is the equivalent of the magnum. Okay, so we've got a few enemies here. So let's see if we can take them out with... Good old TMP. Ooh. I was actually going to like shoot that arrow out of the air as it was flying towards me, but I think I was feeling way too confident <laughs> about that because as soon as I saw it flying towards me I was like wow that is fast. Okay so the end of the chapter is actually basically through those doors or well it's a little bit further than that but it's it's not too much further uh, but we're gonna do that little detour uh, that we did with Leon and Ashley in the main game 
unfortunately, Ada can do it herself. Okay. Oh, I forgot that he was there. That's really bad. <laughs> I didn't think he'd die from one shot. Come on, game. All right, I assume he'll still be available later, like in the next chapter. <laughs> like when I did that, when I accidentally hit the, uh, the level up lady in, um, in Bloodborne all those years ago. <laughs> Such an accident. I was like, wait, it's, what, I didn't mean to do that. Take it back, take it back. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so kick this open. Uh, we could go down there, but there's only like one enemy there and he's wearing red and it's like a big deal. So I'm just going to ignore it. I don't even know if I'm gonna go back this way, so... Yeah, I think I'll go forward. Oh, crap. Da -da -da die. Taking too many bullets. Fortunately, I have way too many TMP bullets. Okay. Alright, here we go. I should have been prepared. Pretty good. Let's reload. Reload this as well. I think there's one more, isn't there? Where are you? Ah, it's I think a little bit further up. Okay, so before we needed Ashley for this, luckily Ada has her trusty hook shot, and I think you have to try the door first though, yeah. It won't open, turn around, go over here and there we go, you have to really get into position there. Okay, so now we- oop. Wait, was that someone in here? <laughs> uh, I'm like thinking, he didn't move quick enough so I thought it was the merchant for a second. I'm like, wait, the merchant can't be in here, he was just over there. Hourglass with gold decor. So th that part's interesting, so the hourglass with gold decor, we actually need, like, the funny thing about this is like, we need to come in here. Uh, it's not optional, because that hourglass with gold decor is not a, um... Oh, damn it! Crap. Almost died. Uh, let's do that. It's not actually a, um... Put this over there. Like a sellable item, it's a key item. Um, grab this. And grab this. Alright, let's go back. Any more? Oh good. No more and no barrels here. And the camera decides to pan up for some reason. Okay, so now that we've got all that, how are we doing? Yeah, time is perfect. Now that we've got all that, we're going to go all the way back to the way we came. But we're going to take the other path. I guess I'll quickly... Nah, it doesn't matter. There's actually one coming up not too soon. After this. Okay, this part is annoying. Um, we need the shotgun, uh, but first we need the flash grenade actually. So go over here, grab this flash grenade like I did in the main game, then go over here, wait for it. Okay, just throw the flash. Unfortunately, Mr. Mr. Dangerous won't get flushed. So just quickly, yeah. Take that. Damn it. <laughs> Take that lock off and try and get out, but I missed. Uh, okay, let's try that again. Yeah, this, this part is a little tricky. I didn't realize I had an incendiary grenade. I might actually try that as well. So go over here, you want to actually let this cutscene play out for the same reason that I explained in the main game where all the enemies come out including the Wolverine guy. I think his name is like a Garador, which is like, you know, like a Garota essentially. Okay, so we'll do that, do that, one, two, three, he had to be in the worst possible position. Okay, that actually worked out. 
Uh, don't hit me. Fan kick. Oh, that one actually killed him. Nice. No. Okay, I can hear him like swinging around wildly. Oh, he's inside as well. Yeah, just keep swinging around. In oh gosh, that guy almost got me. So I actually like to take these guys out first. So that way I know what I've got left. Alright, there we go. Now it's just him. So his weak point is in the back, but I think this does damage to him. I'm trying to hit him in the weak point. I guess I should probably use the uh, sniper rifle. Can't see. Okay. Right. Hurt him. Oh, come on. Yes, okay. So yeah, not really like a great strategy for that, but it works. Please, no. You got a ruby from, for defeating him. Nice. Okay, so yeah, like I said, this part's a little different. Um, what you have to do is the door to the next area is locked. So you have to actually check this. It says, why is this empty chest sitting here? Maybe I should take a closer look. You reveal a secret compartment. There's an indentation at the bottom. And then check it again and you place the hourglass with gold decor. And the door opens. And now we can exit. How are we doing for time? Good. All right, we've basically got like one more room to do and then a bunch of cutscenes. Let's go over here. You can hear Leon firing his TMP. Leon, I'm sorry, but I can't be seen with you. Okay, so yeah, even though she can't be seen with him, uh, we pretty much have to take out a bunch of enemies here anyway. If I could find them. Okay, that should be good. Alright, so I'm pretty confident we can't go that way, so I think we have to cross the bridge. And then these guys come out, and those guys as well. Oh, that was a bad miss. Switch to this, get out of here. Get out of here. Quickly run past, turn. Now if I can get a good shot. Wow. The triple. <laughs> Go back. Turn. Nice. Okay, I think that pretty much clears this room. Uh, if you try and like go to the other side, um, Ada just says something like, I can't let Leon see me or I can't be seen. I don't know if this works. Yeah, this doesn't work. And this is the only other item here. So let's go up this ladder. Turn, turn, and then run. I'll quickly show it off actually. If Leon sees me now, I would have to finish him off. Okay. Kick. It's funny because that stuff there. The, uh, the rocket launcher is actually still there. And I don't know if Ada is programmed to be able to use the rocket launcher, because if there was a way to skip that, which there might be, I don't know. Might be a way to get, get around that trigger. Um, but if there was a way to... Ooh, damn it. I thought he was still on the ground. Yeah, if there's a way to skip that trigger, she could actually use the rocket launcher at some point, which would be cool. Alright, how are we doing for health? Let's just use that. And... Oh, he's not here though. But this is... Flash grenade. Alright, and as soon as you enter this room, 
Um, you can go over there and like open up those uh, jar, uh, jars or whatever, but they won't have anything. Instead, let's finish the chapter by walking over here. Leon, I got it. Sample, you serve me no purpose. Sadler, my boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Stay with me, Lewis. I am a researcher hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lewis! Lewis! Unfortunately, a bit too late. Did you retrieve the sample? No. Sadler has it. Hmm. There will be another time. Have you had a chance to eliminate Leon? Not yet. If that's the case, then maybe we can capitalize on his little lucky streak. Take advantage of the distraction he is causing for Sadler and his followers to retrieve the sample. Okay, end of another chapter. Uh, let's quickly get to this part. Jack Krauser has been the subject of extensive study and research by the organization. His skills and personality have been tested both on and off the battlefield. If he weren't the best, he would become a liability that would jeopardize the rest of us. My conclusion? He's a great soldier. No more, no less. As long as he's well compensated, he shouldn't cause any problems for us. If he does start to get restless, I can take care of him. I've studied his combat style and can deal with that arm of his if necessary. Krauser answers directly to Wesker, and it was Wesker who decided that Krauser should be sent to spy on the cult. He also decided to send me along. I wonder if it wasn't to keep an eye on Krauser. No doubt, Krauser has already fallen to the temptation of Los Plagas, and the power they represent. This could have dire consequences for the organization. On some level, however, this may be a necessary development, as his role is to disrupt this farce of a play. That said, the stage and its players will ultimately come crashing down in the end. Bad luck for him. But he'll play the patsy in the end and take the fall for all of us. That's why I need to make sure things keep going exactly as they are. Okay, and that's it for chapter three. Let's uh, leave things there and we'll continue again next time. So for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 36 of Let's 100% Resident Evil 4. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.